Okay, I'm going to go over how I uh, move from stereo pair of photographs that are taken in the field through photo model or scanner to create a dense point cloud that's then meshed and a surface is created from that <clears throat> and a model is exported to SketchUp. So here's a photograph that I took of a profile in the field and then I'm going to click right here in Picasa. This is its stereo pair. I want you to notice that the edge of this, this is the space that I'm going to model. The edge of the space that I'm going to model is not all the way on the edge of the photograph, but it's in from the edge of the photograph because only a portion of the full field of view of the lens has actually been calibrated in photo model or scanner. I'm not going to talk about that. Same thing holds here. This is the pair where the object is slightly more to the right. You can see it's still within the, well within the field of view. So I'm going to fire up Photo Modeler Scanner. Let it start. I'm going to create a new points-based project. And I've got to add the files. So we'll come, oops. The monitor can be a little bit touchy there. Let's go down to the little modeler scanner. And this is going to be model 14 profile. Select these two pictures. I'm going to add them into the new project. Here I have to choose one of the lens calibrations. These are lens calibrations that are produced beforehand based on a field of dots. I'm going to choose this lens calibration. I'll talk about lens calibration in another section. Okay, these were matched with the camera from the camera library based on uh, information that was in their header. You don't need to worry about that right now. Okay, so I'm going to double click on Photo 2 to open it up, double click on Photo 1 to open it up. I like to double click on 2 first because that puts it here on the right. The images are added to the left. So what I'm going to do is come up here and mark points. I'm going to make a series of control points. I'm going to zoom in by scrolling on the mouse wheel. Control point right here in the center of that nail. Scroll in over here. Find a spot in the middle. Do the best I can. Come down here. Mark another point. Mark another point. I'm going to need six control points. I only put four, four photo targets. And so I'm just going to take corner of a rock and use that as my control point. It's just the furthest out spot here on this rock in the middle of the profile. And then I think I like yeah, it's going to be a good spot. I think I like this little jagged edge right here. Let's see if that guy's going to work. Yeah, he's in the other picture. Okay. So now I'll scroll all the way back out, click on the Select Items Mode tool, and I'm just going to hit Control A to select all the control points. They're now all red. And I'm going to come over here and make Photo 2 the active photo. And then I'm going to switch into Referencing Mode. Now there's a blue rectangle, that means that's the reference photograph. I'm going to slide this over so I have a little more space. 
And I know what these first four are because I started in the upper left hand corner and I'm going around clockwise like I always do. So I just know where I need to go. I recommend you develop some kind of a workflow like that. You won't have to check each time. Just know where it's going to go. This one over here. Okay, so we've got the four from the photo targets. Now we have to go fishing. So I see over here it's this little pair of rocks, and that's got to be over here. So I'm going to just zoom into the spot. We'll come back to the left to the reference photo, zoom in on the spot, see where it is I actually marked it. Location. Now it wants to go to 6. I know that 6 is over here. It's got this little janky edge on it. See, it's right. It's going to be right there. That looks pretty good. Okay, <clears throat> so now there's 6 control points, and Photo Modeler is telling me the project can be processed. So I'm going to hit the little runner here. Process the project. It's going to orient to unoriented photographs. Produces optimization. I'm going to give it a name. Profile. Save it. Process it. Say OK. Do a quick look at the 3D viewer. So here are the one, two, three, four, five, six control points. Let's turn on the camera stations. Zoom back out. <clears throat> this is showing where the two photographs were taken from. Now it's important to note these were just handheld photographs that I took, just kind of walked back from the profile, took a photograph, took a step to my right, took another photograph. Tried to keep the angle of the camera as close to being the same, keep those photographs as parallel as possible, and snap away. Use a nice Good depth of field, stop the camera down a little bit to improve the depth of field of the photographs. And that was about it. The photographs took me literally a minute to shoot. It took longer to set up the nails than it did to photograph, take the photographs. We'll close the 3D viewer. Okay. Now, in order to create this dense point cloud, I'm going to need to idealize this project. That means I'm going to need to recalculate it so that it is taking into account the lens distortion. So that's going to be project, idealized project. Okay. And we're going to allow it to resample a number of images in parallel, even though there's only two, we'll let it do 13 in parallel. And we're going to do all photos. This process will take a minute. So I'll hit and go. Let it start, and I'm going to pause the video while the blue bar makes its progress. It's 2.58. I'll let you know when I'm back.